Welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Um, I'm sorry if there's a delay in my video part of me. I'm still working with that other camera. I'll get a new one, a better one eventually, but I guess it's okay for now. Um, but I also realized I lost a video for this one, the chapter one, for the Your Journey Begins. It was where we had our first herbology class and Penny Haywood saw a boggart and it turned into a werewolf and we did a whole event and we became an animagus. Um, we decided not to put it in with the law or whatever. And so, yeah, I realized that one never got uploaded. I never even edited it. I feel like I accidentally deleted it. And it was not in my recycle bins. So, I apologize for that. But, here is... Um, oh, sorry. It was Year 3 Begins. It says... Um... So anyways, that one's, I fucked it up, so. Here's year three, chapter three, three broomsticks. Hagrid said your brother Jacob frequented Hogsmeade's three broomsticks in. You need, or you head there now, eager to learn the connection between Boggarts and the Cursed Vault. So. Is this recording? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, get that, and we have, Team Gryffindor, see Professor McGonagall, career advice, Glacius, that's a duel. These are things we still need to buy freaking animals. Okay, we're going to go with this one in this video, but we're going to start this one first. I always like to do our lessons first and just get them out of the way. So this is Petrificus Totalis. Oh. Oh. Welcome, class. Today, we will be learning the full body bind curse, a sure way to stop your opponents in their trap. You simply wave your wand like this and say, Petrificus Totalis. <laughs> Miss Griffin and Mr. Copper, please help me demonstrate. Sorry, my allergies are like... My dear student, make sure you are prepared. That's my dog, by the way. Now you always hear me talking about talking to whatever. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. My bad. Jesus. Oh, God. Her bed's over there, so. The full body bind curse is a dangerous effect not normally taught outside of defense against the dark arts. But due to popular demand, I will do my best to show you how to cast this safely. Please listen closely. I am going to explain the proper way to cast the full body bind curse. Okay. The spell stiffens a person's limbs, but their eyes are free to move. I wonder where I'll next see a boggart. Rowan never stops smiling in the class. I think that's what it says. Oh. Now I have a question for you. Let's see if you know the answer. What incantation makes an object waterproof? Hmm. We have Impervious, Immobilis, Aguamente. Uh, 
Um. Brilliant. No, oh, don't look at that. That's where I used to work. <laughs> like, five years ago. I don't know. I have produced diagrams to help you cast the full body bind curse. Please come and take a look. Good question. I shall explain it to you. I can teach you charms to make quite striking holiday decorations. Are there any spells? I don't know. <laughs> and I oh. did a focus on this point here and memorize it. And I did a couple um, study sessions to get our attributes up. So two of them are at 19 now, but that heart one, I think it's empathy, is at 18 still. So... Study. The incantation you are trying to learn is Petrificus Totalis. Ouch! Got a paper cut. Today I feel like I could read every book on Professor Flitwick's desk. Sorry, I was gonna hit. We could use this spell on our next run-in with Mrs. Norris. Ha! Oh, I didn't need that one. I'll go over these again and again. Hmm. Focus on your pronunciations. In charms, you have no room for error. I barely made that, but we did. Okay. Review the details. Take a look at your notes. Use this spell and your target will be completely frozen. get up there while we're in this lesson. Let's work together. We have to remember every detail of the spell. Concentrate. Yay! It's time to attempt the full body bind curse. In a moment, I'll have you test this on a living target. do the spell. I think I'm ready to try casting Petrificus Totalis. Yay. That was really fast. Amazing. That's incredible. Thank you. <laughs> I am incredible. Yes! Oh. Splendid! Please demonstrate the spell on Mr. Copper, Miss Griffin. Oh. Seriously? Oh. Mr. Copper won't be injured. And I'll reverse the spell as soon as it's cast. Sorry, Ben. How else am I gonna learn? Petrificus Totalis! Oh! Huh. 
Well. Well done, Miss Griffin. Ten points to Gryffindor. And another ten points to Gryffindor on behalf of Mr. Copper for being such a good sport. Oh. Hmm. Tapping my laptop. I think Ben is linking his appreciation. That's done. Usable in a duel. Okay, anyways, now we're le uh, learning belly force. Belly force? Transfiguration. And this one is another three hours, so not bad. Uh -huh. Sorry, my nose is like running. Today in Transfiguration class, we will learn to turn cats into cauldron. We will begin with practical demonstration. Watch me and watch this cat. You should have seen this before. Well, I see one. Oh, wait. Hold your arms up like this. The homework is on the board. I'm afraid to look. Notice the height of my elbow. <laughs> this is the most important part, so please pay extra close attention. Oh, almost too early. and practice our wand work before casting Philly first. Okay. I don't need all this for my training. This spell has uses. Imagine you and your cat need to brew a potion in a pinch. It feels good to get on your feet. By your one power perfectly, you must have total concentration. <laughs> Memorize cauldron shape. Hmm. You must visualize the cauldron in your head before casting a spell on your cat. Too many legs is a good indicator that the spell has been mispronounced. My quill hand is going to be sore tonight. Can I use a mnemonic device to remember this shape? I wonder how many of the things... Mm -hmm. Now picture the cauldron. You should have no difficulty visualizing it. Uh oh. Did I already mention I went to my grandma's today? She's kind of like my mom. She raised me and she has this cat. Why she decided to get a cat, I don't know, but she saved it from being a stray in the alley. I am super allergic. Only by forming a bond with your cat will you be able to cast this spell successfully. What if you became an animagus and then you turn into a cat? Would you like be allergic to yourself? Wow, wow. I wonder if the cat enjoys helping in class. 
you're a good kitty, aren't you? Now it says to stroke the cat's fur gently. That's how I got her cat to like me. Oh, I keep meaning to get those books. Dang it. There, there. Hey, it's okay. Pet the cat. That's a big cat. <laughs> or is that just me? Oh, Toby. My grandma doesn't get why I think her cat is so cute, but I'm like, this cat is like a quarter size of my dog. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> now I want to see you turn your cat into a cauldron. I just love small feet. Like miniatures. It's time. Cast Philophores now. Congratulations. Okay, so, story part one of six, you are proving yourself and may now go to Hogsmeade. Student will be departing from the courtyard. Student, gather for Hogsmeade. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. Oh god, I'm so excited. My eye is so messed up right now. No offense, but let me know if you ever want a bit of fashion advice. Right. I created an itinerary to determine the most efficient way for us to navigate Hogsmeade. I'm going to pick up a nose-biting teacup at Zonk's Joke Shop. Sounds fun. Hello. Oh, hello, Professor. <laughs> mm. I believe you have earned the right to go to Hogsmeade. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, Professor. Is that guy floating in the <laughs> background? You did it, Piper. Hogsmeade, here we come. Hmm. I can almost taste the butterbeer. I'll need to take careful notes after each sip to reproduce the recipe. Hagrid said my brother knew Madame Rosmerta, the landlady at the Three Broomsticks. I need to talk to her first and find out what she knows. Uh. That won't keep us from drinking butterbeer, though, will it? We will definitely drink butterbeer. When it's time, go to Hogsmeade. I'll meet you at the Three Broomsticks. We'll find out who knows what about Jacob. Oh, it's only 55. Okay, let's start this first, then. There's, I don't know, to kill time. It says, career advice. Speak with Bill in the library. Talk to Bill. I'm looking up rare ingredients, but I forgot their names. That's not helpful. Slytherin should win the house cup every year. Don't you love learning about wand woods? What are all these leaflets you're reading, Bill? <laughs> I'm doing research for my career post Hogwarts. I thought you always wanted to become a world-famous curse breaker. 
go. That's always been my plan, but the professors encourage us to consider multiple career paths while at Hogwarts. Besides curse breaking, what else do you want to do? Hmm. Guess I haven't given it much thought. What do you think my career should be? Mag Magizoologist or herbologist? This one has a two next to it, so. <laughs> that would be brilliant! <laughs> hey. I can't think of anything more exciting than to expose the criminals of the wizarding world. Hmm. Perhaps there's an interesting job out there I haven't discovered yet. I should do more research. I can help you find resources. Let's look now. I'm not doing anything anyway. <laughs> One hour. Picking a career is overwhelming. Headmaster Weasley has a nice ring to it. These jobs no longer exist. You should consider a career in being quiet. Perhaps you can be a famous herbologist like Tilden Toots. Dragons are more my brother's thing. Perhaps you should let your career find you. Are all potion masters? miserable as Snape. <sighs> now I feel even more overwhelmed. I have an idea. Why don't I help you find a career? Hmm. I don't know, Piper. I always thought finding a career was more of a personal journey. Come on, it'll be fun. Perhaps I can also figure out what to do with my life after Hogwarts. I spend so much time searching for my brother, I haven't given my career a second thought. Hmm. Let me think about your offer, Piper. <laughs> I better head to Transfiguration class before McGonagall deducts House Point. Alright, well, I hope to hear from you soon, Bill. I need someone I can trust to help figure out what career is right for me. Reach relationship level 10 with Bill. Seven. <sighs> and you know... I think... are up now. Maybe we should just do this. Hmm. It won't get us to level 10, but it'll help. So often I just am I didn't know this about you. Tell me more. Sure, what do you want to know? Who was your first friend here, Rowan? Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> Great to know what happened before we met. I have a couple other questions. Sure, ask me anything. How did you evade Mrs. Norris? Sleeping drought. <laughs> Thanks, Piper. I feel like we're even better friends now that I know more about you. Hmm. 
Look, Piper, you're good at gobstones, but there are a few technical techniques you only acquire with experience. What is victory? Indicator of progress. What's the goal of this game? Having fun with your friends? <laughs> well, you seem to be catching on quickly. I hope I'm not just telling you things you already know. Even so, it's good to put it into words. What else do you have to teach me? What's the best way to learn? Teaching someone else. <laughs> I hope some of that was new to you. In any case, it's helpful review for me. Actually, you've given me some perspective I didn't have before. Thanks for that, Bill. What is defeat? An opportunity to grow. The questions never change. They're always the same. I've just practically <laughs> memorized them. Well, that's all I can think of to teach you now. I'm looking forward to our next match, Piper. Wow. <laughs> okay. That was a bit of a bust. Um. I hate to jump around side quests. I didn't know that was going to act like that. Quidditch Chapter 2, The Road to Tryouts. Explore ways to get a Quidditch tryout. We could probably do this one then. Mm. Kind of curious as to what she wants though. We just go to Hogsmeade. This has six parts in it, anyways. I don't know, whatever. I'm ready to go. So, we're gonna. Congratulations on earning the privilege to enter Hogsmeade Village. Go there now. Part two of six. Go to Hogsmeade. <laughs> huh. First time in Hogsmeade? How did you know? You have that look about you. Excited. Cold. Not exactly sure what you're going. Where you're going. I'm Andre Igu. Igu? I know you from flying class. You're a third year like us, but you're already the best Quidditch player in school. Huh? Charlie Weasley might be a bit better, but I do love Quidditch. That's why I never go anywhere without my pride of portrait scarf. Prides are the best team in the league. What are you doing in Hogsmeade? Huh? Shopping for myself and my family back home. I didn't think top Quidditch players cared about fashion. Uh -huh. Clothes make the wizard. The better you look, the better you feel. The better you are at Quidditch. Or, in your case, curse breaking. You know who I am? Everyone knows who you are, Piper Griffin. Cursed ice has trapped me in the Quidditch changing rooms. When you broke the curse on the vault, you saved my life. I had a lot of help from my friends. Huh? Well, I want to help too. Curse breaking hero like yourself needs a proper outfit for exploring Hogsmeade. Let me give you something, and you'll look just like one of the locals. What would you like to wear? Coat, smart trousers, trousers. A cool coat. How about a cool coat? I didn't know it would be so cold. Huh. Good choice, curse breaker. Now you look like you belong in Hogsmeade. 
probably bought them for my sister, but I think they're more your style. You really think this helps me look like I belong in Hogsmeade? Huh? Absolutely. You're going to be breaking curses and getting dates in no time, Piper. Forget about dating. Help me get a date. <laughs> okay. I've never been on a date. I wouldn't even know how to get one. <laughs> because you've been busy breaking curses and saving Hogwarts. Most students don't start dating until they're at least fourth years. Just find me when you're ready, and I'll tell you everything I know. It was great meeting you, Andre. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to see Madame Rosemurda at the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> Anytime, Curse Breaker. I'm always happy to help. I think he's totally in love with me. <laughs> Head to Hogsmeade. I'll meet at the Three broom Broomsticks. Find out about Jacob. Who, who's this little cute guy? Shut up. <laughs> oh, look at you. So cute. Laying out in the snow like you ain't got no sense. <laughs> hmm. I can't talk to those people. Honey Dukes. Maestro's Music Shop. Zonko Joke Shop. Hogs me Hogs Head in. <laughs> Let's just look at it really quick. That's it. Whatever. Okay, let's go. Butterbeer, coming right up. Oi, you almost knocked my black pudding on the floor. <laughs> what? Haha. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually in the Three Broomsticks! I've read about it in sites of historical sorcery, notable magical names of our time, great wizards of the 20th century! I'm glad we can experience it together, Rowan. Now, to find out what Madame Rose Murdo knows about my brother and his research on the Cursed Vault. Yeah! Piper, over here! Oh! Welcome to the Three Broomsticks. What do you think so far? I think I'm thirsty. It seems like fun. <laughs> I think we should have one of those famous butterbeers. Yeah! Clear the way! Butterbeer for this one, coming through! Hello, friends. Welcome to the Three Broomsticks. Hello, Rosemurda. Butterbeers all around, please. Hmm? Butterbeers? right away. Madame Rosmurda, I was wondering if I could ask you about... Half a moment, dear. I've got other tables to attend to. You see. Be back soon. Oh. Hmm. Don't worry, Piper. Rosmurda will be back, and I'm sure she'll tell you everything she knows about your brother. You're right, Rowan. Well, cheers then. Ah! Cheers! And now we're just waiting. Oh, there's some over here. I heard the head boy and head girl are going out. Does that happen often? So Professor Kettleburn kept talking, not noticing his arm had fallen off. Good to be here with you, Piper. Everyone seems to be having a good time. Flame freezing charms rendered the 14th century witch burning futile. Rosier's father was a top Death Eater. Do you think Jane Court fancies me? Mm -hmm. What makes Butterbeer taste so good? 
Did you know that I was expelled like your brother? What should I get to have? Unless you're going to sum up chapter 14, I don't want to hear it. Thanks, Piper, right? I appreciate the help. I do fancy a butterbeer now and then. Imagine the wizard knowledge that has been collected by the patrons here. That was delicious. Ah. I knew you'd like it. Oh. Sorry about making you wait. Someone had a question? Rosemarta, this is Piper Griffin, student at Hogwarts. Ah! Piper was dying to taste your butterbeer. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm very flattered. Bottoms up. Piper wanted to ask you about Jacob Griffin. Mm -hmm. Was he your brother? Yes, madam. I heard you knew him and was wondering if you had any information about him or his search for the cursed vault. I remember Jacob, quiet boy, sweet. He spent a lot of time at the bar, scribbling in notebooks. Notebooks? <laughs> Aye, then one day, a pair of ministry aurors grabbed Jacob by the hood of his robe, dragged him out the door. The only thing he left behind was a black quill. Oh! Another black quill! Piper, what if your brother transfigured his notes into the quill to hide them from the ministry? Madame Rosemurda, please find me that quill. I'll do anything. Hmm? All right, settle down. I don't throw anything out, so I'm sure it's here somewhere. I'll look in the back, but it may take me a few days to find anything. It's a mess in there. No charm in the world could tidy it up. Oh. I might ask you to do an odd job or two in the meantime. Make sure my customers are taken care of while I dig through the back room. Thank you, Madame Rosemurda. You're welcome, dear. I hope you find your brother. Sweet. Now it wants us to wait eight hours. Mm. La 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 la. And that's part four of six. Huh. That was actually really fast, okay. Uh, well. Let's see if this changed. No, it didn't. Still lit up as if we have something to do there. I mean, we do, but it's gonna take hours to get done. Whatever, let's just do this. 
Team Gryffindor see Professor McGonagall in Transfiguration class. Meet with McGonagall. <clears throat> Thank you for coming, Miss Griffin. I have a special task for you. How can I help Professor McGonagall? The Gryffindor Keeper has a bad habit of misplacing our broom wax. Our brooms are in fairly rough condition without it, and I don't want your team getting splinters in the middle of a match. I'd like you to find more broom wax before we play Ravenclaw. Always happy to help the Gryffindor Quidditch team. However, I can, Professor. You're a credit to Gryffindor, Miss Griffin. Would you like me to accompany you on your search? Okay. Searching the Gryffindor common room with a Gryffindor head of house? That would be amazing! Oh. Very well. Lead the way. Task 2 of 2. Find broom wax. Mm. Sorry, my eyes are all messed up. We must find that broom wax fast if Gryffindor is going to stand a chance in this next Quidditch match. I'll do my best, Professor. Now, if I was a tin of broom wax, where would I be? Maybe one of the ghosts floated off with it. Where could it be? Did anyone lose a bacon sandwich? Anything over here? Magic dust? No, just regular dust. Ma- Eh. Nothing here. Rats! What about over here? Seventeen copies of Burdock Muldoon's famous wizard card. Who put these here? I wanted to see what that one in the back looked like. Do we really have to use four? God dang it. That was kind of far away, I guess. Yay! I found the broom wax! Oh. Well done, Miss Griffin. You've saved the Gryffindor Quidditch team. Thank you. Give me house points now. Can I help you more? Is there anything else I can do to help Gryffindor, Professor? You've done more than enough for one day, Miss Griffin. I've been very impressed with your work ethic and dedication. Please accept 20 house points as your reward. Helping others is its own reward. Oh. <laughs> nice. Is that it? That was it. <laughs> Just a way to get house points. Um. Okay, well I guess I'm just going to wait now for these and then we'll do the rest. Okay. Um. This part's ready to go. Ah, oh, I forgot about that one. Crap. 
It's not loading very well. I think there's something wrong with my Wi-Fi or something. I don't know. <clears throat> um, can you chew any louder? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> let's just do this real fast. So, chapter two. The Road to Tryout. Explore ways to get a Quidditch tryout. This is task 104, meet Penny. <coughs> Sorry, I just had macaroni and cheese and I'm a little lactose intolerant. It just gets built up in my throat and then I get real phlegmy. But. Oh, Jesus. No, I don't want that. Amari holding Quidditch tryout. Did you go to the Quidditch friendly? Stop it. Good to see you, Piper. I think I know how to get you on the path to getting a Quidditch tryout. Brilliant. Let's hear it. Hmm. The captain will be scouting top talent. He won't invite a novice, no matter how determined you are. <laughs> so if you want an invitation to chaser tryout, you need first-rate Quidditch training. <laughs> and you should get that training from Sky Parkin. What? That's the whole plan? Sky is right over there. You can go and ask her now if she'll mentor you. <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, what? Why wouldn't we do that? Brilliant idea. It's a brilliant idea, Penny. I don't have much time to learn, so I should try to learn from the best. <laughs> yes, exactly. And Sky is poised to be Hogwarts' best chaser, perhaps our best ever. You told me that your first impression of Sky was a good one. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. You always think everyone is glad to see me, Penny. <laughs> because it's true! Quick, go and ask! I think Sky's leaving! <laughs> Hi, Sky. Remember me? <clears throat> mm, Piper, right? I never forget a face I save from a bludger. What's up? It's about the open chaser position on our house team. I'd like to try and get an invitation to try out. Uh -huh. Smashing. Perhaps I'll see you on the pitch. Oh. oh. Uh. Sky, wait. I actually wanted to ask you if you'd train me. Ooh. Train you? In Quidditch? How much have you played? Well... Ah! Piper! Penny was just telling me you want to see your first Quidditch match. What did you think? <clears throat> that friendly was the first match you had ever seen, Piper? Oh. I get the feeling I shouldn't have said that. Alright, Hagrid. I'll uh, just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. The answer is yes, Sky. That friendly was my first footage match. Whoa. And now you want to go from seeing one match to trying out for the team. I know I'm new to Quidditch, but only because I've been rather busy dealing with the cursed vault. <coughs> oh, so you're Piper Griffin. The 
curse breaker? Uh, I've heard about you. You've done some impressive things. And I'm a fast learner. You'll see. Mm. But I can't train you. Might not be on the team much longer myself. What? Why not? <laughs> Poor Mark. Everything's riding on my next charms exam. So I have to focus on that. I could tutor you. And then you could train me. It would be a fair trade. Oh. Would it? I know I'm an ace at Quidditch. But I don't know if you're any good at charms. I'm the best at charms. So I won't be training, training for t tutoring from you. Convince Guy to make a trade. You could be rotten at charm. Everyone's rotten sometimes. Take a chance on me. I'm not. Let me prove it to you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, dang it. Sorry. <coughs> each other. Uh, Just this once, though. What do you mean? Uh, I've got this one charms exam I need to pass, so I need one tutoring session. Uh, then you'll get one Quidditch lesson from me. Will one Quidditch lesson be enough? Uh, Better than nothing. Then it's up to you to get a tryout. So when would you like to study? How soon is your charms exam? Quite soon. Today. Sky, I'll have to tour to you right now. Uh huh. Smashing. I know just the place. Let's go. I do my best studying in the Quidditch stand. Meet me before I get bored and leave. <laughs> what sign is she? Study with Sky. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Do you always study out here, Sky? Ah. Quieter than the library. I keep telling Pin. That must drive Pence mad. Uh huh. It does. <laughs> I like the roar of the crowd, but some of my best times in a Quidditch stadium have been when it's just like this. I doubt many witches and wizards get to spend much time in empty Quidditch stadiums. Ah. Uh. When you're a Parkin, you pretty much get to do go whenever you want in the Quidditch world. Uh. So when does the tutoring start? How does this work? Have you never been tutored before? Ah! Explains the poor marks, right? Well, you brought your charms textbook. That's so. That's a start. <laughs> Let's check the table of contents. What will your exam cover? Uh. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> looks like I need to brush up on the material on page forty-three. Mm-hmm. 
44 and 45. And look here, page 52. Sky, what are you doing? Mm -mm. Taking the pages I need. Is that all right with you? Uh, I mean... <laughs> I've never had... I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. Like, in real life. <clears throat> We're gonna spice it up. No, it's wrong. No, it's wrong to go around just ripping pages out of textbooks. <laughs> just the important pages. Won't need most of the rubbish in here for the exam. So you always study like this? Uh. Only when I'm using books. Oh. You can think it's wrong, but that's your problem, not mine. Ah. My family was always on the road for Quidditch. You learn to travel light. Take only what you need. But still, studying out here, all it would take is one strong gust of wind and... Ah, uh. uh, my pages! Quick, get them! <clears throat> oh my god, so now we're just trying to chase freaking pages. on her. I'm not clicking on her. <coughs> oh, I wasn't even reading what they were saying. Sorry. <laughs> Just kind of like this. Okay, there. We did that one. <clears throat> Barely out of breath. Great stamina. <sighs> we did it. Better put those pages under something before they blow off again. Huh. So you must play some other sport? <clears throat> what do you mean? Huh. Your speed darting around the stands just now. Are you into muggle football? Guy, we lost some time. We need to review the spells on your exam right now. Uh. And your accuracy. Like you instinctually knew which move to make next to catch a page. On one of the pages, I thought I saw something about the disillusionment charm. Is that on your exam? Uh. Are you a bog snorkeler? You are barely out of breath. Sky, please focus. You need to... You said you need to pass your charms exam to stay on the Quidditch team. Uh, I'll review the pages as I walk to class. I've done it before. Read and walk at the same time? That sounds uh -huh. productive, right? I'll be late for Flitwick's class if I don't leave now. I feel like I didn't get to tutor you at all. My Quidditch lesson. Huh. Write your lesson. Meet me later in the Quidditch changing room. And bring your broom. Easiest tutoring I've ever done. <clears throat> Could you go eat that somewhere else? Ready for your Quidditch lesson? Meet me in the changing room. This is task three of four. Just like a tent. Pass my charms exam with a solid acceptable. Congratulations, Sky. So this is the Quidditch changing room. <clears throat> oh. Sorry. I'd give you a tour, but this is pretty much it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Where's your broom? You left so quickly, I didn't get to tell you. I've got no broom of my own. <clears throat> so no broom. You only just saw your first match. Uh. And you expect our team captain to just give you a chaser tryout. I don't expect it, but I'm ready to earn it. Huh. Right. Uh, you can use that shooting star. Hooch keeps a few spares around. Uh. But any serious Quidditch player will tell you that you'll want a better broom. Uh -huh. Like a comet. My dad swears by them. My brothers, too. I have a brother. I wonder what he'd think about me playing Quidditch. Oh. Playing Quidditch isn't optional in my family. But are you saying if I can't get a Comet, I've got no chance of making the Quidditch team? Oh. You've barely got a chance now. Perhaps my chances will be better after my lesson. Can we head to the pitch? Huh. Let's see how you mount a broom first. Mount a broom? In here? <laughs> yes, mount that broom. If you can't do it, lesson's over. Sorry, my lips are so dry. I had to put this on there. This is also from Juvia's Place. I got it at Ulta. Anyways. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> I can get my own broom. Don't need your magic. <clears throat> oh, she's bewitched it. I get it now. <laughs> she expects me to just jump on it. <laughs> Prepare to be made. I won't stop until I'm on that broom. You promised me a Quidditch lesson. You just won't quit. What's this got to do with Quidditch? Do you not want to give me a lesson? Oh, just gonna keep going. For you to keep trying would be madness. I bet I could mount that broom in my sleep. No lesson if I can't do this? That's not fair. This is madness. Just give up, and I'll lift the hurling hex. <clears throat> Mount that broom, and I'll keep my word. She just won't quit. Oh, and all that energy I got was because the game gave me a present. It was like 130 energy. For my continued loyalty. Everyone learns how to play Quidditch. Uh, Are you doubting me, Curse Breaker? Yes, I doubt you. No, I trust you. I could do without your reckless teaching method, but... Huh. But what? I'm all you've got. Quite sure I am. Let's just carry on with this Quidditch lesson. Oh. Lesson over. But I did what you asked. I got on that hex broom. I want my Quidditch lesson now. Oh. Just meet me on the Quidditch pitch at dawn, curse breaker. 
Is she flirting with me? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I didn't read that. I was trying to get to this. My present. Oh, we get eight energy if we go feed an animal. Ooh, four four. Begin your Quidditch training. Quidditch pitch. Is that shooting star broom the same one from the changing room? <clears throat> oh. uh. No hex, I swear. It's so different, seeing the Quidditch Stadium from this perspective for the first time. My first time on the pitch, I was in nappies. So I'm here at dawn. I'm just not sure why. Oh. You were wrong to trust me in the changing room. Mm -hmm. That rotten stunt I pulled with the hex broom. It was a stunt? I believed you. I thought it was some odd Quidditch test. Mm -hmm. Never thought you'd pull it off. Even I couldn't have mounted that broom. So you were trying to dodge giving me a Quidditch lesson before we even got started. Uh. Right. Why? Because our tutoring session went wrong? So you felt you could back out of our deal? No, it's my family. Parkins have been playing at Hogwarts famously for generations. My friend Penny told me as much. She's a big Wigtown Wanderers fan. Mm. And I'm under so much pressure from my dad to lead our house team to win the Quidditch Cup. Uh. Every time we talk, <laughs> the Quidditch Cup. The Quidditch Cup. Uh. All I could think about once I passed that charms test was how fast I could get back to practicing. Mm. Instead of wasting time giving you a Quidditch lesson. Identify with Sky, challenge Sky. Wasting time? You don't even know yet if I can play Quidditch. You're not the only one with other things to focus on. My brother, the cursed fault. Those things didn't stop me from keeping my word to tutor you. Or to at least try. Huh. Hope you got this kind of fire in your in you during a match. So then this Quidditch lesson is still happening? Uh Listen, when you were chasing papers in the stands, I thought perhaps it was luck. Perhaps what was luck? Huh. Your speed, your agility, your precision. Could have been a one-time thing. Uh. But when you jumped on that wild broom, I saw it for sure. It's all what, Sky? Uh -huh. Raw talent. What it takes to be a natural Quidditch star. So then, am I getting that Quidditch lesson? More than that. What do you mean? Your goal? Making the Quidditch team. Oh. My goal? Winning the Quidditch Cup. <laughs> and what could further my goal more than your goal? A chaser with your raw talent playing beside me. You're getting me a Quidditch tryout? No, that's still up to you. The captain and I... Not exactly best mates. Uh -huh. But I'll give you all the Quidditch training I can as fast as I can. Huh. Because now it's in both of our best interests that you ultimately make the team. So before, you wanted to see me tossed off a broom. But now, the Sky, Sky Parkin wants to take me on as her own personal Quidditch project. Uh -huh. She does. I mean, I do. Huh. I asked you to meet me here because the hard work begins now. Literally now. What's going on? <clears throat> These are a few of my mates. They came to play. Me? Play Quidditch now? <laughs> but I haven't had a lesson. Huh. Don't worry, <laughs> you're about to get schooled. And I've got no Quidditch robes. Huh. We'll take care of that, too. Is that Hooch I see? And is that the Quidditch announcer in the booth? Uh-huh. We do this all the time. And now you'll be joining us. <laughs> Let's play. 
Eh. Oh my god, would you look at that? That's cool. La 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 la. La 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 la. Okay. 200. Ugh. Everyone's trying to take my money. We're playing Quidditch now, guys. So exciting. It's a beautiful day for a friendly Quidditch match with a 98.3% chance of edge of your seat excitement. Madam Hooch is about to kick off the match. Both teams look eager to get underway. The pitch is heating up. Looks like it'll be an interesting game for Griffin. A bludger is on the rampage and heading straight towards Griffin. I hope Madam Pomfrey's on standby. What? Dodge the bludger, drag the token in each circle when it flashes green. Reach the halfway point in the skill meter to successfully execute your Quidditch maneuver. That is hard! Oh, frick. <clears throat> Ooh, that must have hurt. Has anyone got a Wiganweld potion? Team's performance meter represents who's currently winning the game. Fill the majority of the performance meter with your team's color before the game ends to win the match. I've never done anything like this. That's Griffin with the Quaffle. The team's already in trouble, and the opposing chaser is closing in. Griffin will have to pass the Quaffle over the opposing chaser. What now? My eyes couldn't understand what was happening before, but I get it now. <laughs> it's just like the focus, but there's two of them. Thanks to Griffin's perfect pass, the team keeps the quaffle absolutely brilliant! Take that. Griffin's got the quaffle. After that last maneuver, this chaser's got a shot at the goal post. And victory! Griffin's lining up to shoot a goal but the Gryffindor Keeper won't be easy to beat. <laughs> Oops. Take that, Gryffindor. <laughs> goal! Gryffindor's goal earned 10 points for Gryffindor. After a magnificent match, Griffin's team emerged victorious. These moments are what Quidditch is all about. I'm amazing. You won because your team filled up more of the performance meter. Win matches to get better rewards. That was intense. How was that, Sky? How did I do? <clears throat> Let's just say now I know just the right Quidditch training regimen for you. In the meantime, come back to the pitch and play Quidditch with my mates and me whenever you want. Uh -huh. You'll see, Curse Breaker. This is going to be extreme. Helping others is its own reward. Okay, so that's done. Um, that's on chapter three. We're gonna go here. Help Madame Rose murder at the three broomsticks, part four of six. No, I. Hello, 
dear. Welcome back to the Three Broomsticks. Thanks. How can I help you? Oh. Would you work a shift or two serving butterbeer? I could use the extra pair of hands while I look for your brother's black quill. You want me to work at the Three Broomsticks. It'll be a natural, and I'll even pay you for your trouble. <laughs> There's no need to be nervous. Just be sure not to drop a tray, or spill a drop of butterbeer, or take a spill yourself. Whatever. Too young to work anyway. Here I go. Thanks, Piper, right? I appreciate the help. Flame Freezing Charm rendered the 14th century witch burning futile. There's always something mysterious happening at the Three Broomsticks. All the perks of being a third year. Do you think Jane Court fancies me? What should I get to have? I heard the head boy and head girl are going out. Does that happen often? Unless you're going to sum up chapter 14, I don't want to hear it. What are you doing for Christmas? mug of butterbeer, but the nice wizard over there transfigured the mug into a mongoose at the last second. Huh. Hey, I hope you paid for that mongoose. I'm trying to remember where I put that black quill, but all I keep finding is other things I forgot about. Huh. Brochures on the usage of Gertie Root, request to hold meetings of the Celestina Wardbag Fan Club. It never ends. Additionally, I'm trying to produce a special concoction, an extra sweet brew of butterbeer. Hmm. I just haven't had time to collect some of more, the more obscure ingredients. I'll help. I'd be honored to help you gather the ingredients. Just point me in the right direction. Oh. That's the spirit. I'll be sure to tell Professor Dumbledore how helpful you've been. I need you to grow a sugar shrub for me in your herbology class. There's also an ingredient called Mallow Sweet that you can find in your potions classroom. I'll also need a bit of Moondew. Fresh or dried, doesn't matter. With those three ingredients, I can brew my extra sweet butterbeer. I'll get them right away. Ooh. I appreciate your help, Piper. I'll find your brother's black will by the time you return. Better. Gather what I need to brew my extra sweet butterbeer, and when you return, blah blah blah. Ugh. Uh, uh. <sighs> Part 5 of 6. Um, this game is so long. Going to potion. Well, you already opened it for me. If I want the black quill my brother left at the three broomsticks, I need to find Mallow Sweet for Madame Rose Murda. It must be around here somewhere. Oh, it's only an hour. That'll go fast.
she said, wouldn't it be funny if I found Snake's diary? Here it is, Mallow Sweet. I've heard this stuff is used for divination. Why would Madame Rose Murda be using it for butterbeer? Maybe I'll ask her when I bring it back to the three broomsticks. Moon Dew. Madame Rose Murda said she needs Moon Dew for her special butterbeer recipe. I could have sworn I saw some in here before. shoes. You look awfully determined today, Piper. That plant pot fell on the ground and shattered. Someone must have bumped it by accident. Hmm? Good morning, everyone. Today I will be a practical lesson on the ways magic can help us grow plants faster. Choose a plant and grow it before the end of class. I'll be timing you. This is perfect. I can grow the plant Madame Rose Murder wants for her special butterbeer. Wait, what was that plant called? Sugar, sugar, sugar. sugar shrub, of course, that's definitely it. Madame Rose Murder said she wanted to make an extra sweet butterbeer. Or was it Gertie Root? I hope I picked the right plant. Ah. Good to see oh, you. That's what we're doing, so. <laughs> hmm. What's the latest gossip, Piper? Oh, you know. Sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of sleep oh. last night. I was working on the computer. Um, oh, right. I've been meaning to ask you something. Oi, you'll be sure to remember this one. During our first day of herbology class, what creature took the form of a werewolf and gave Penny Haywood a scare? Okay. <laughs> she looks crazy. <laughs> Trim the ivy. Mm. Help me keep the greenhouse clean. Please tend to all those plants. How is I going to help my plant grow? It's only an hour. I was like, these are like really fast. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well done. Now reach up high and trim that last bit of bit up top. Your plant. 
<clears throat> you must tend to your plant's needs. Be sure to give it the proper fertilizer. Be gone! Once your growth potion is prepared, please test it by applying it to the plant. I need to pour this potion on my plant. I wonder what will happen. God, I hope that's the right plant. They're really testing our memory. <laughs> pot your plant. <clears throat> Be careful as you pot your plant. Now begin. when transferring your plant. Good luck. <laughs> A lot of dirt, she's like. of a sugar shrub. Whoever drinks butterbeer made with this is in for a sugar shock. Oh. Very good work today, students. Plus dismissed. I need to get this back to Madame Rose Murda. Hopefully she's found my brother's black will. I can't hang. Once you've gathered everything I asked for, have you. I need time to set things up at the inn. I'll let you know when it's time. Seriously? Ugh. Oh, okay. So that is the last part. She is ready to brew a new kind of butterbeer, but we have to wait eight hours. So I'm glad I filmed this part tonight. Um, I'll just film the rest of it tomorrow. So I'll be looking different again. We will be back. Okay, so now we have. Um, sorry, my hair is all fucked up. Um, part six is six unlocked. With the ingredients you have collected, Rose Murder is ready to brew a new kind of butterbeer. Meet Rose Murder. We'll go to the three broomsticks. Oops. <sighs> Um, oh. welcome back, dear. Did you get everything I asked for? Right here, Madame Rosemurda. Uh -huh. Thank you, Piper. I'll just be a minute. A new kind of butterbeer coming right up. Mm. All right, you all. Sorry. We're testing out a new extra sweet butterbeer. Try some on the house. Hoorah! Hooray, whatever. Bottoms up. Oh, 
Rose. You've outdone yourself on this one. I think I found my new favorite drink. Ah. You've been a huge help, Piper. I'm going to ask Professor Dumbledore to award Gryffindor house points. Um, as for the real reason you're here, mm -hmm. here you go. It took me a while, but I finally found out found your brother's black quill. I hope this works. <laughs> Repair Farge. A journal! This has to be my brother's notebook filled with everything he'd learned about the cursed vault. I wonder what it says. Oh god. Ugh! Don't believe you'll be finding out anytime soon, eh? That notebook. I'll be taking it from you now. Mr. Filch! That notebook belongs to me! Not anymore. I'll be adding it to the collection of confiscated contraband in my office. Uh. Professor Snape's orders. Anything related to the cursed vault is to be kept away from students. For their safety, of course. Oh. I'm sorry, Piper. You did a lot of work to get your hands on that notebook. Now I have to work out how to get it back from Silch. You make the hardest task and that's it. look easy. Chapter 3 is completed. And we will move on to chapter four. If you want a preview, it says Filching from Filch. The Black Quill was Jacob's notebook. But now your brother's secrets are in the hands of Argus Filch, caretaker of Hogwarts. You must retrieve that notebook at any cost. So that's what's to come. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next one, of course. Okay, bye.